so in the subset construction method i first create the power set that means uh, i so the so the set of states of a dfa is the power set of the nfa okay so what will be my qdfa my qdfa will be first is empty then will be q0 then will be q1 and then will be q0 comma q1 okay let me number it as a b c d okay understood so so now so q dfa so my q dfa is now a b c d so that is why what will be my starting state of dfa now my starting state of dfa will be the starting state of nfa that means the set that contains q0 so it will be b okay so b will be my starting set of a dfa okay now let us come to the transition functions okay because everything has been uh, covered so what will be my final state what no 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 d will not be the starting state because because it contains an extra uh, set of state no q1 okay it can be a final set i will come to that it can be a final set but it cannot be the starting set so the starting set has to be b okay or any problem okay so now let us come to the transition functions so i have now four things a which is empty b which means q0 c which means q1 and d which means q0 comma q1 okay and and i can uh, and my state table is like the this way just a minute this is 0 1 every time i have to write q0 q0 q1 then q1 and q0 comma q1 sorry just like this and it is q0 and it is q1 okay now suppose i am in state a because in dfa you have to explicitly define for a given current state and an input symbol what will happen okay so if you are in a and you get a zero what will happen you do not have to make any state transition that means you will remain in the empty set a understood if you are in a and you encounter a b you will also do the same that is you will remain in a okay if you are in b and you get a zero what will happen now q0 with zero will remain in q0 okay in the state transition table it is mentioned this uh, so it will be b and if you are in b and you get a 1 what will happen now you move to c okay in c if you get a 0 what will happen in c that means in q1 you get a 0 you will remain in c in c if you get a 1 then it will be what so c you will apply this this way it will apply the union that is q0 comma q1 comma 1 understood that is delta of q0 comma 1 okay like this way and delta of 
q1 comma 1 okay so so what is delta of q0 comma 1 now q0 comma 1 is q1 so it will be q1 okay comma what is q1 comma 1 q1 comma 1 is again q0 q1 okay so it is union of q0 q1 so it which will be and this q0 q1 maps to d okay so so in the left hand side i write this as d okay this is because it's a, these are all dfa transition functions okay so but uh, this i am doing as nfa this is understood because uh, because my c is q0 q1 i again go to this thing from the transition table i found out that this this is a nfa nfa thing okay so from here we uh, switch to nfa and we found out that this is equal to d okay then what will be my d1 delta of d comma so so let us uh, rub this thing okay so delta of c comma 1 is d okay now delta of d comma 0 what is uh, what it will be it will be delta of q0 comma 0 union delta of q1 comma 0 okay and this is again we have found out that it will be again q0 comma q1 so it will be d and delta of d comma 1 is delta of q0 comma 1 union delta of q1 comma 1 and what it will be it will be again q1 q0 understood because q0 from 1 kya ho q0 from 1 it will go to q1 and q1 from 1 it will go to q0 and q1 so so it will be again d okay so all my uh, transition functions for this deterministic automata is complete okay now how to so so you can uh, always finalize means you can write the result like so my new dfa will be m as a five tuple and you can write this thing that uh, what will be my set of states is the power state my uh, huh. what will be for the final state my final state are any states any set of states that contain final set of nfa understood means because here I am creating the power set of a NFA, okay. That means it uh, in some set, in some set of states, my final state will be there, and in some set of states, my final uh, set will not be there. So here you can say, out of A, B, C, D, which are my final states? So my final state will be B and D, okay. So, the final state is B comma D. My starting state is only B. Okay. And so, what about A? So, you can easily, so, so this is the subset construction method. Okay. So, what uh, uh, you can uh, see that uh, there are certain states which are redundant like A means for A there it is 